Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Digital Gate Studios production. Jacob, another appearance. How's it going? Good, thanks. What do you got? Uh, this is going to be a list that I have played since release, and you recently got me hooked on again, and that's going to be Belfamon. That's right. We've been working on this one. This is uh, another one of those decks that falls into the category of was good and is yeah, still yeah, good, yeah. Um, especially one... in... Uh, uh, a, a meta that's pretty wide with level fives and under. Oh, yeah. And especially, like, after the, the Eismon ban, this list just completely fell off mm -hmm. until recently it started to make a comeback, and that's new card helped with that a lot. Yeah. So, you ready to get into it? I am. Let's see it. All right, let's start with our four of egg, and that's going to be the new BT-15 Demimera. Mm-hmm. Uh, pitch a level five or higher, draw two. It turns out you kind of want a lot of these level five or hires in the trash. Mm -hmm. And you kind of want to find your pieces. What better way than draw two? That's true. Not a lot more to say about that. Fifth egg, obviously, is very needed in this deck. And this one is just draw one, pitch one. Yeah. Classic backup to that. When, uh, when, we, and true strat. when we saw the new Demi Marrow, it was basically like, okay, purple decks now have five eggs forever. Yep. Uh, four of the one that they need, and then fifth is the other one. If you don't have your shiny ones yet, get them all you can. True. All right, let's talk about uh, the... Easy stuff. Get this out of the way. Gizmons. Yep. We all know what these do. Yep. We just got four, four, three. Pretty traditional uh, run. Can be a four of. Traditional. Typically not needed to be four. Three is usually pretty good. Yeah. The idea uh, with people going up to four in some lists is it is another target for that BT fifteen Demi Mara. Yeah, and it, it is a good blocker nine K to have. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it you know it's just more consistency on playing itself out. You really don't need th four of it though. Nah. I mean. It's true. Uh, moving on, just let's talk about some of the new cards since the last time we've ever talked about Belf on this channel. Ukomon. Ukomon. Can't you just see how this says Belfamon on it? I mean, look <laughs> at them, right? Uh, turns out, memory gain, turboing through eggs. I mean, you push this out, you flip an egg, you delete it for proto Giz, or you stack another Ukomon. I mean, it's true. It's, it's really good. This deck doesn't need to digivolve really all that much. That was one of the things from before. It would be... Our first stack, if it was wanted to be rookie Eismon. Without Eismon, there's no point in even having a rookie we can digivolve on. So this is just straight value with pretty much no downside. Yeah. Well, and the other the other thing about uh uh Ukumon is obviously it sets up the egg for the proto Giz. Yep. Uh it also sets up Gizmon AT, uh, because it's level three yep. and Gizmon and AT doesn't specify a purple rookie to delete. Yep. And being on top of especially this Demi Mara, but really either of them, it's so much card advantage yeah. once you go into that AT on turn two. Because one of the annoying things you find out about playing Belfamon is you will play your Gizmons uh in lieu of evolving in the raising. Uh and it yeah. doesn't gain you cards in the hand, it loses you cards in the hand. So yeah. paired with the Uko and the Demi Mara, it sort of keeps that a little bit more even. Yeah, you're really trying to stick like right at that sixth threshold. Mm -hmm. A lot of skill expression involved there. Let's talk about some other rookies. These ones are purple, I promise. <laughs> Two copies of Gazimon. Yep. Uh, very good in this memory gain heavy format. You cannot go wrong with Floodgates ever. And right now, Gazi is up there for probably his, what second best buying effects. Ga Gazi is very important because of the rascal sitting next to him. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, one more rookie. That's going to be one copy of our Impmon. This is the one that on play you pitch a card and grab a uh, Demon Lords or Three Musk. Yep. Belfmons are Demon Lords. Yep. If you didn't know. Uh, sleep modes, being able to get that one extra sleep mode can really make, a, make or break the deck sometimes because you really want to be able to stop the attack, stay alive while you're in your set. If, if the turn you build your first uh, Belfmon stack does not end the game, uh, this Impmon is very important to set up a second turn uh, with that protection. Yep, and you can always just discard cards if you need to get your uh, your Rage Mode in your trash or yep. stuff like that. Speaking of pitching cards, this is one of that new addition I was talking about. This is going to be our replacement for Eismon, and it's, in my opinion, actually just better. And that's going to be the promo Rare Mon. Yeah, this card is ridiculous. The card's ridiculous. I am sorry, everybody, about the price tag on these. I <laughs> I cannot see playing Belf without this card. I the, mean, the so people ask a lot about replacements for Rare Mon, and the automatic answer is uh, Sister Mon Blanc from the Structure Deck, and it's like yes, deck. yes, it is pitch one draw two, but what it is not is a purple level four. Yep. Um, so if your turn one is Ukomon in the raising, uh, and then Raremon for four pitch rage mode, uh, it you, doesn't have, get better. You, you have won the game. 
Uh, yep. Because then you are into Astamon 4-3. Uh, you're into sleep mode with rage mode. Uh, and, you have an, and you have an egg set up in the raising. Uh, so this card... Uh, this card is very, very good, and uh, hopefully you bought them at release when they were ten dollars. I know I didn't. I wish <laughs> I did. Uh, this card is I, I I don't know how you'd play Belf without this anymore. Like mm-hmm. without Eismon and without this, yes, there's no way. A couple other level fours. I'm playing two copies of Vilemon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really like having that extra blocker. Uh, Vilemon over um, Devimon is a topic. Yes. Or at least was in the past. Mm-hmm. This one being a 6K, it's doesn't die to ruin, ruin mode. mode. Yep. Yep. And Revelation of Light. Also very important. I mean, those two cards, like Blanket minus five, just mm-hmm. this eats uh, a lot yeah. of cards in the deck. We, we aren't digivolving as much as we were uh, in previous iterations of the deck because we replaced our purple rookies with Ukomons. So the one to Evo doesn't come as much, doesn't come up as much yep. as the six... 60 p. And it's a cheaper play cost, too. This is five true. instead of six. So, I mean, with only three purple rookies, two of them being floodgates. You don't really want to cover up almost, that Gazi. Yeah, you're almost never going to digivolve this card anyway. So, I think it's, it's a true. very strong inclusion. Minimum one, in my opinion. I like having it at two just for that extra blocker. Yep. Uh, let's talk about some level fives. Tried and true Astamon at four. Yep. Kind of can't play the deck without it. Uh, card is very good at just going from either no board state or just a rare mon. You can like play a proto giz, go into Astamon, stuff like that, and just make a belf stack out of thin air. It's a rare on play for seven that you want to do. I mean, if, I will give my opponent seven for this, and nine times out of ten, I don't regret it. Yep. What are they going to do? Because we get into our sleep mode, we stop and attack, maybe two if we can get the vile mon out because of this inheritable. And then, um, I mean, they can't out the stack, so game's going our way from there. I do want to shout out one more level five that I tried to make work and could not. Oh, I can't uh, wait shout out this. my Otismon Ace. Uh, in theory, uh, it's a good card, um, but nine times out of ten, you just wish it was something else. But yeah, I, give it a try. I think it was worth a shot. <laughs> I did not really like it either. I am. Um, Astamon being the only level five outside of the XTs is fine by me. Agreed. Uh, Don't need to spend too much time over here, but we got our four sleep modes and four rage modes. Yep, got to be four and four. Uh, If you try this at anything less than four and four, you're a mad lad. Let me know how it goes. Agreed. Um, Three copies of (laughs) Nidhogg. This can be anywhere from zero to four, depending on personal preference. I wish it was four. Yeah, three, personally. three, three is the sweet spot uh, that I have found. Uh, it's another great target for that demi mera, as well as using it during your uh, opponent's turn off the sleep mode effect uh, is incredibly disruptive. And I think that's the best way to play the game. Yeah, I think the the amount of disruption you can get off Belfamon, especially against people who don't fully know what's going on, mm-hmm. is one of the best advantages this deck has, outside of just the here's four checks at seventeen. Uh, the the We'll get into a little more about it, but the the uh, gain two just because you attacked is really good, and we've seen that on Melga Ace being just a good card yep. just for the same reason. One copy of Death Hex, never leave home without it. Yep. Uh, good card. We're in purple. We can recycle it because of calling. Not much to say there. It's true. Good card play, especially in formats like Numemon. Yeah. Three Aka Heroes. You do not really need four. You draw trash so much. You can play them for free from trash off the XTs. And it's not like you always need 100% of the time. Uh, it's your answer to level sixes, though. It is. It is. It's removal for sixes. It's another way to get into your sleep mode. It's a backup way because you really want that Astamon inheritable. Yep. Uh, and it can help you dig for pieces. So early game, not a bad card. Late game if you need removal. Moving on to one of my favorite inclusions in the deck. This is how I've been playing Belt for a while. Not in every list, but if you haven't tried this, Try it this way, and that's going to be with Keenan. Yeah. Uh, being able to, let's say you pitch a Nidhogg in a sleep mode to end it one attack, play out a Vilemon that can block another attack, but you're also gaining memory off these Keenans, which is either going to shorten their turn or, or pass completely the turn. steal it. And stealing turn off first swing, it, it wins games every yep. time. Uh, if, if your opponent's not paying attention or doesn't know or 
I mean, at that point, their only option is not to attack. Yeah, and, and, that's and fine too. A lot of the times when you play that Astamon to set up your your Belfamon stack, they will have a lot of memory, and they'll they'll think, oh, I have six, yeah. I can evolve twice and then swing. And it's like if that evolve put them to zero, they're gonna lose the turn, or even uh, at one. And exactly, and they're gonna lose that uh, yep. lose that attack. Yep. Uh, a couple more tamers. We have two copies of Matt. This card, similar reason to the Keenan, getting memory for disruption. You can also gain memory on your own turn using, you know, the egg deletions or any of the Gizmons, yep. even the rare mon for three. Uh, this is another solid option for turn one because it lets you, let's say, turn two, you draw your rare mon. You can play it for three, still be at zero, yep. and then go into ass to build from there. So it's another solid turn one. It's just a fantastic card overall. It is still, in my opinion, probably the best memory setter in the game, True. arguably. Not a lot of room left, but we'll talk about some options. That's going to be two Gift of Darkness. This is a uh, fantastic removal, really good against Devas. Uh, ruin mode sometimes. Yeah. Death X. It's, it's good just getting rid of a big stack and making another. Super it's a, it's another one of those rare uh, six cost kill options that you will play and not kill anything and still feel alright yeah. about it. Because yep. if you have another rage mode in trash, but don't have a sleep mode in hand. Uh, you can always uh, go in that gift and then uh, get your protection back, even if you don't kill anything. Yeah. Gift is a fantastic card. I mean, it's this could be an or statement, and I think you would still play the same number. I mean, yeah, it's very important. Sometimes super versatile. Yeah, and uh, security effects really nice. It'll help you know keep you alive sometimes when you need it to, which is yeah, which is helpful. Get, get that rage mode and trash. One last card. Obviously, that's going to be a calling from darkness. It's purple no, deck. Enough said. Restricted play. It. Enough said. <laughs> So that's the list. Uh, Basil has helped me out a lot with this, and we've both been really liking this list. I played this most recently at the Ultimate Cup we've had, and I had some good success with it. Yeah, it's it's a super strong format. Anything that goes wide, uh, you can always think about Belfamon as something to play. Yep. Uh, but that's a great list. Uh, I love it. I've been having a ton of yeah. fun playing the, this. This is a great example of just one of those combo controls I love because being able to kind of stop attacks, gain memory to disrupt their turn, and then being able to just deal such a big damage of turn and either just OTK them or put them to zero, have another body that they can't deal with, maybe one more in the raising because of the Uko hatch, and then what are they going to do at that point? You know, Nothing so, they can do. Yep. The, the, there are some matches that this deck just absolutely steals, <laughs> and it's good time. Give All it a right. shot. Thanks so much, Jacob, for sharing. Uh, we've got a bunch more decks coming in the, the, the middle of this BT15 format. Uh, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.